How would you like to be able to hide objects really quickly like this? or hide an entire class quickly as well. This is what I'm going to talk about today. I've created two utilities. One's called Hide Object, one's called Hide Class. And you have to install them through the plugins, plugin manager. And you have to download my plugins from my website. And you have to install them using the third party plugins install method. Once you've downloaded my plugins off the internet, you make sure they remain zipped. If you're on a Windows machine, that's fine. If you're on a Macintosh, you have to make sure that you can keep them zipped up. Then you open them and that will then install them into your Vectorworks. You'll have to restart Vectorworks, but once you've restarted it, you'll find my tools are available for adding to your workspace. Now you can only get these if you subscribe to my website or if you are a full member of my YouTube. I'll post it on my YouTube channel as well. And once you've got those, you can then add those to your workspace. So let's customize the workspace. You need to go to menus and it's object context. I just think this is the best place to put it in the object context. So I'm going to add a separator so that they're separated from other things. So I'm going to put a separator here. And then at the very bottom, I've got my plugins down the bottom here. There's the hide object and the hide class. Now these are two different commands and they do different things. So let's just have a look. Now the first one is the hide object. So you right click on an object and you go hide object. Now it doesn't hide the class of the object, it's a temporary Vectorworks hide. So Vectorworks has this built-in ability to temporarily hide an object. Now when you change the view or you turn all your classes back on, this object will reappear. So hide object, it turns off that object without turning off the rest of the objects on the same class. So you can go right click, hide object, just turns that one object off. If you do it over here and go hide class, It'll turn that class invisible and everything on that class now has disappeared. For example, over here, I had already hidden that object. So let's hide that object again. Let's right click here and let's go hide class. And you notice it turns off everything on that class. It also turns off the class here. So you'll notice that the class is turned off. The demo class is turned off. The framing class was turned off. And so the hide object just hides one temporarily. Whereas if you use the hide class, it turns off all objects on that class. So those are two little utilities that I use a lot. If you're a subscriber on my website, go and get it. I've just uploaded a new version onto my library area. And if you belong to my YouTube membership, it'll be a post for the ultimate members. They'll be able to download my tools. If you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click on the bell so you get notified, and also become a member of my YouTube channel. Membership gives you special benefits, such as the tool I've just mentioned, so become a member today.